19, 2017, Amen. has now been called to order. <clears throat> the invocation and pledge of allegiance will be done by Mr. McMillan. Will we all stand, please? Dear Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for the blessings we've had today. We just thank you for the grace that you pour out upon us every day. We ask a special blessing on this nation tomorrow with our inauguration of a new president. We just ask that you watch over this nation as we move forward in a different direction. We ask a special blessing to give us wisdom tonight to deal with the different things that we have to deal with here as a jury. We ask you bless this nation, this state, and this parish. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. May this flag say with me, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Can we go ahead and have roll call, Madam Secretary? Yes, sir. Mr. Andrew Hunt? Here. Mr. Bears? Here. Vice President Brain? Here. Mr. Collins? Here. Mr. Farnham? Here. Mr. Guillory? Here. Mr. Hunter? Here. Mr. Landry? Here. Mr. Latour? Here. Ms. Mayo? Here. Mr. McMillan? Here. Mr. Scott? Here. Mrs. Trimmy was unable to attend this evening. Mr. White? Here. Mr. President Guidry? Thank you, Madam Secretary. At this time, we have a few house cleaning items. Um, if there's anyone that have any cell phones, we ask that you would silence those cell phones at this time. And if there's anyone that has anything to speak on, on the items that we're doing tonight, we ask that you would pick up a blue slip from the back and bring that slip to Ms. Jessica so that she can get that slip to us. Okay? We thank you for that. At this time, we'll go ahead and begin with item number four. Take appropriate action on applications for liquor and beer permits, Mr. Crane. Mr. President, we have three renewals tonight, and we recommend we'll that they be approved. Second. I have a motion by Mr. Pornham and a second by Mr. Andrew Point. Is there any discussion? Any objections? Yes, sir. Motion pass. <laughs> Item number five, consideration approving payments on all current invoices. So moved. Second. second. I have a motion by Mr. Landry. Mr. I have a second by Mr. Hunter. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion pass. Item number six. Move on six. Consideration Second. approving the minutes of the regular meeting of the police jury dated December 15th, 2016. I have a motion by Mr. Andrew Pont and a second by Mr. White. Any discussion? Any objection? Hearing none, motion pass. Item number seven. Take appropriate actions on a request by Tanisha Bertrand to rezone from agriculture Move to, to general commercial planning and zoning. to Take allow general commercial development auto truck sales at 2118 Highway 109 South in Ward 7. I have, I have a note by the Planning Zoning Board. The Planning and Zoning Board met on Tuesday, January 17, 2017, and voted unanimously, nine against, to recommend that this request be denied. I have a motion by Mr. Barris and a second by Mr. Pornham. Is there any discussion? Any objection? Do we have any speakers on this item? You gotta maybe raise the hand up. Did you have a, excuse me ma'am, did you have a blue slip that you? She's the applicant, Mr. President. Okay. Come up ma'am, please state your name and. My name is Phyllis my name is Talisha Bertrand. I, I reside at 2118 Highway 109 South Benton, Louisiana. I'm just trying to open up a small office in my home to acquire a, a used car commission uh, dealer's license. Um, the, the concern Tuesday night was traffic. I live on Highway 109, which is exit four in Benton. Uh, all the traffic goes to Delta Downs, passes my house. I can't see where that would be a traffic problem that doesn't already, you know, there's no way I can create that much traffic with a small office in my yard, I mean in my home. We have a few jurors, ma'am, that have discussion. Sure. Mr. Guillory. Uh, yes, how many cars were you thinking of putting there? It's, there's only room for two to five cars. I'm going to be selling from dealer to dealer from auctions. So I'm a wholesaler. I'm not really like I don't sell to people, but if I did have any vehicles there, it would be one to two 
vehicles just in transit. Okay. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Giller. Is there any other jurors that have been? Sorry, Mr. Landry. Thank you, Mr. Giller. Uh, Mr. Crane, what, yes, sir. what was y'all's recommendation? Uh, our recommendation was to deny. To deny. Can yes, you sir. tell us mm -hmm. what the reasons for that are? Well, if you look on the map, <clears throat> Mr. Landry, at the um, at the map, you'll see that the property is zoned A1, and there was there's a lot of A1 property in this area, except for the property to the north. The orange area is C3, so there is some property nearby that you could actually have a car auto dealership <coughs> in those areas. So instead of she probably doesn't own that property. Yes, sir. Um, she may not. But but what I'm saying is is that there is property available or could be potentially could be available to do that instead of. But it's a state highway, right? Yes, sir. It's a state highway. People came in opposition to it? Um, we didn't have any, there was no opposition uh, that I was aware of. The, the other thing that, <clears throat> that we try to be careful of is that uh, this is predominantly, you know, people are living <clears throat> in these areas, uh, mostly residential. And so if she did it as a home occupation, and didn't have any, you could do it as a home occupation, but you can't have any inventory, okay? And so that's that was really the issue, is the inventory that you may have on that property. It's hard to sell out of an empty card. I've been trying to figure that out for a long time, but you I'm can't sorry? do it. I said it's hard to sell out of an empty cart. I said, and I've, I've been trying to figure out how to do that, and you really can't. So she would have to have inventory. She wouldn't be in business. <coughs> That's all. I, I, I defer to Mr. Barris. Thank you, Mr. Landry. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I, how long, I mean, I guess typically would your inventory maybe stay? I mean, like some days you would have none, some days you would have. Most days I would have none. Uh, in a perfect only, world, right? I mean, that, that's what you're, you don't want to have them. You want I really don't want them. At, yeah, I don't want to, especially not there in my yard. Um, I am wholesaling. Right. I just don't want to. I just have to acquire a license to be able to do it on my own. Is there any other route that she could take uh, without a re, you know, I see what you're saying. It's, it's, it's <coughs> surrounded by the other, you know, that type of property, yeah. you know, and you don't want to. I have an empty lot on the north and the south of my property. It's wooded. I guess our position is we're, we're just trying not to proliferate the zoning of that property. We know that we have some corridors in there that are already zoned C3 right. instead of rezoning some of those A1 properties that historically they have been used for residential purposes. Right. I, I, I so I'm just, we were just trying, we're trying not to set that precedent. Right. I, I totally understand. Um, I just wish there was a. I yield back, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Barris. Mr. McMillan. I, I'm trying to figure out, Next, man. and I guess one question I would have for Mr. Barris, did you have any calls or any opposition to this? Uh, no, did sir. You, nobody opposed it. I would ask that maybe we kind of take a step back and look at this and see if there's opposition and see if we need to stipulate it to maybe just three cars in, in an office and no more than that, how we could work things out with her. I would ask that we defer this for 30 days to give you a chance, an opportunity to visit with your police juror and for him to maybe visit with the staff to see if there's some type of uh, way we can work this out with some stipulations instead of voting on it tonight without having a lot of information. Another thing I would ask too is if maybe you would get a petition from your near neighbors to see if there was any objection to them. That would mean a whole lot to us. If your neighbors around you don't care and you're on a state highway and it's only going to be stipulated to three cars. Maybe this is something we could work out. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Thank McMillan. You. I'll withdraw my second. It's okay. <coughs> Mr. Hunter. Thank you, Mr. President. I agree with Mr. McMillan. I was going to say on the surface, I don't really see the, the big issue with what she's trying to do. <coughs> and Mr. Crane, if someone just wanted to sell a car that they owned, they can legally put it out in front of their house and put a for sale sign on it. Um, I would think so, yeah, yeah, sure. So what she's talking about doing would be similar. She's trying to get a commercial license. Right. 
similar to that, but in a commercial sense, you, I assume you have an LLC? Yes, sir. Okay. So the cars would be owned by the LLC, not you individually. Yeah, if there is a motion to defer for 30 days. Well, I would ask okay. if Mr. Barris agrees with me that sure. it's his district, if he would like to yeah. make that motion, I would definitely I would second it. All right. I move to uh, withdraw. I'm, I'm, I'm defer. Motion. And defer. For and defer for 30 days. Second. I have second. a motion by Mr. Barris to defer for 30 days and a second by Mr. McMillan. Good job. Thank you, Ms. Bertrand. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion carry. Item number eight, take appropriate action on a request by RD Leasing LLC to rezone from agriculture to general commercial to allow general commercial development, restaurant, and retail use at 4695 Highway 27 <coughs> South in Ward 4. Move to uphold planning and Second. zoning. The planning and zoning met. The board met on Tuesday, January the 17th, 2017, and voted unanimous to recommend that this request be granted with <coughs> stipulations. I have a motion by Mr. Barris and a second by Mr. Scott. Is there any discussion? Any objection? Motion carry. Item number nine, take appropriate action on the request by Richard Dowen and wife to rezone from agriculture Moved to, to defer for 30 days. To allow a recreational <coughs> vehicle park, two spaces at 584 Burton Shipyard Road in Ward 4. The planning and zoning met on Tuesday, January the 17th, 2017, and voted two to seven against to recommend that this request be denied. I have a motion to defer for 30 days by Mr. Barris and a second by Mr. Calvin. Is there any discussion? Any objection? Motion carry. Item number 10. Take appropriate action on request by Red Rocks Enterprise LLC to rezone from single family residential to mixed residential to allow mixed residential development to duplexes in the 900 block of Tallow Road in Ward 3. The Planning and Zoning Board met on Tuesday, January the 17th, 2017, and voted unanimous so to recommend that this request be granted with stipulations. I have a motion by Mr. Scott and a second by Mr. McMillan. Is there any discussion? Any objection? Motion carry. Item number 11. Take appropriate action on request by Travis Orley and wife to rezone from agriculture to recreational vehicle park Move to allow a second. recreational vehicle park, 82 spaces at 509 Royal Loop in Ward 6. The Planning and Zoning Board met on Tuesday, January the 17th, 2017 and voted unanimously nine against to recommend that this request be denied. I have a motion by Mr. Landry and a second by Mr. Barris. And we do have a speaker on this item. Would you please come forth, sir? Say your name and address, please, for the record. My name is Gary Johnson. I work with Aculine Surveying, address 235 Lewis Street out of Salford, Louisiana. I'm the uh, land surveyor and civil engineer for this project. Uh, speaking on behalf of uh, the clients. Um, this was turned down the other day as uh, I believe they were, they're trying, uh, the basis for denial is it doesn't conform to the area. Um, on the east side of the road is in, listed as industrial and commercial. Uh, there's multiple C1 uh, mobile home parks and, uh, and other uh, industrial C1 mobile home parks down Royer Loop. Um, we're trying to, we're wondering why this wouldn't, won't, what doesn't conform with the area. Some of the uh, RV parks south of town are surrounded by total A1. Um, and there's a couple other uh, RV parks south of town that uh, are in similar uh, zoned areas. Uh, we're just trying to get this passed and, <coughs> excuse me. Is there, do y'all have any uh, questions for me? That Is there any jurors that have any Gillery. questions? I have one. Mr. Guillory. Hey, yes, Mr. West. Yes, How did sir. you all vote on it? I'm sorry? Y'all y'all voted for or against it? Uh, this was denied. Oh, this one was denied? Second. Okay. Okay. All right. I, I recommended not to. <coughs> okay. I recommended <coughs> denial. 
Thank you, Mr. Keeler. Mr. Scott. Mr. I'm Crane, uh, do they have large opposition to this project at there the was meeting? Opposition. And the concerns were mostly? Well, I think um, there was concerns about the drainage. Uh, there's an area that drains through here. Um, also, the, the residential, a lot of this area is A1. <coughs> you do have some commercially zoned property across the, the road. But there's still some subdivisions, and historically, this area here has been used for residential purposes <clears throat> as well. And would this trigger a drainage impact analysis, this project? I'm this sure hazard? Yeah, I'm sure it would. So drainage is really just the, the common yeah. thread and, and of... And the traffic, too. The traffic, the traffic. Was, a, was an so issue. So the two main issues we all have to discuss on everything is... So this was denied, basically because it's on a corner and enough people showed up and they don't want it in their neighborhood. So that's kind of, in a nutshell, that's where we're at today. And most of what we discuss is how many people show right. up. And, and, and I'm looking at the, the general area, you know, and the characteristic of that area too, in terms of land use. And that, that was the reason for my. Uh, well, we're getting a lot of RV parks in a lot of places. And this is a state highway. It's in between, it's north of the, facilities where all these people might want to be staying it seems like this is one that would take some of the traffic off it didn't end up with a man camp there it seems like an alternative to the situation could have been this in my you know just me speaking out loud so you know some of these areas we might have to get out of conformity just to kind of see how we're going to continue to make it easier and this could be a nice park or you know at the end of the day if we stipulated that it had to go away in so many years, I mean, are there, is that allowed to be done? It's like if we put a stipulation, somebody wanted to open RV Park, Mr. Rowan, could we say in 10 years it has to be gone? I mean, well, that's a that's a huge investment for somebody to invest in, and then you all of a sudden you say no. But if it's more of a campsite of, you know, and we understand where all these chess games are going, these people making money might understand that I only want it for 10 years anyway. So they. Yeah, you can agree to any stipulation if they choose to. So it's a business idea. So if they don't really want to agree to it, that's a discussion point. Am I well, right? I think it's a little bit different from, you know, the temporary workforce housing facilities. You know, th those are designed temporarily. Um, these are, you know, an RV park is typically designed to be there permanently, but for, temp you know, for travel trailers and things like that to, to come in and out. Well, we've approved a whole bunch of them temporaries here in the past couple of years. I can't imagine they're all going to be here forever. So that's, we got a lot of temporary RV spots that we've approved. So just point of discussion. Thank you, Mr. Thank President. Thank you, Mr. Scott. Mr. Landry. Thank you, President Gidrick. Uh, I know there was, and Ms. Tremie's not here tonight, but uh, I feel pretty sure that she does not approve of, of this project. Um, this is very similar to the, the project that was in my district a month or so ago. You know, you got people out here, and I don't know if you're familiar with that area, but in fact, I deer hunt not too far from there. I mean, these people enjoying country living. They're they living in the country. And you talked about all this different zoning there. I would suggest that y'all need to, to, to look at that again, do a little study in that area, because I don't know that, that that's consistent with with what's there I mean I can't imagine that area ever being commercial or anything else um, and I would ask that you, I, I would request that you do that get with Miss Trimmy make sure it's okay with her of course but uh, I think it's worth looking at but you, you know uh, and I think you would have had more people here tonight it was uh, you know unanimous nine against and, and unfortunately they didn't show up tonight but uh, we've approved so many of these RV parks many of which hadn't been developed yet. We really don't have to have them on every corner. Uh, I mean, there's some places that are not a good place to be. If you spent money and were living out in the country, and let me, now that, that's pretty far out. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want that next to my house. I mean, I just wouldn't. And, and of course, I know that sometime we have to deal with that. There's a lot of people, nobody wants anything next to their house. And, and sometimes we have to disappoint them. But, you know, I just, I just don't think this is a good idea. I mean, it's just not the right place. Uh, of course, that's my opinion. I'm only one of 15. Thank you, Mr. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Landry. Mr. Mr. McMillan. 
Yeah, we looked at a number of RV parks here in our area, and I can tell you that um, I've heard from a lot of constituents in that area that are not for this RV park. It's just not the right location for it. They feel like it has an economic development uh, impact on their house, uh, that their property value would go down. Uh, you've got the juror in that area not for it. We've got staff not recommending it and a zoning board uh, with a 9-0 vote on it. It's really hard to uh, pass something like this and how many more do we actually need? That's something that I've, I've talked to Wes about is where's our saturation point on RV parks. I just don't think this is the right place for this one. And uh, it's, it's a, a nice idea, but the location uh, is not the right spot in my behalf. So. Just a question. I've, I've heard the, not the right location. What, what area in the parish would be the right location for something like this is what I keep getting asked. <clears throat> And this is two or three miles north of the city of Sulphur in a not super dense rural area, but not super suburban area either. Uh, it's surrounded by all of these other uh, uh, industrial and commercial properties. And this property was designed only with roughly about eight uh, RV spots per acre where in a large detention pond that's gonna be stocked, uh, dog walking areas, and truly, truly designed for a permanent aspect of the of this park, uh, and to to bring the visitors and stuff. A lot of these other parks, these man camps, will go away at the end of our growth period. How many other RV parks in the area um, are going to be permanent? This one just really was designed, and the the uh, developer for this uh, actually wants to move to the area and become a part of. Uh, she she's actually a a nurse and she's actually going to be working with St. Pat's and this would be her uh, her area. She wants to transfer over to here uh, and do something like this as a, as a development. Um, but like I said, this is uh, really designed, you, we could be designing 12, 13 RV spots per acre and we're, we're trying to scale back. She, she had a specific number she wanted to come in with and we've designed the park around that number. Um, and that's kind of where we're trying to go with this. We're not trying to impact. We're trying to actually have somewhere for some of the visitors of the area to come and stay and enjoy their stay, not be side by side. All of these lots are at or larger than the required limit for lots. So, uh, in answer to your question, yes, sir. I would say you could get with our staff and they could point out some areas that yes. may be more conducive than this area. But we often listen to our constituents and my constituents who uh, my district's right across the road are asking me to vote against this. And also the zoning board's denied it and staff has denied yes. it. So get with them and they can show you some spots that may be uh, more conducive to an RV park for uh, in this area. I, I just have a hard time with this one here tonight. I understand. I really appreciate y'all listening though. Really do. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, Mr. you, Mr. President. McMillan. Mr. Hunter. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I'm certainly willing to talk about the location. I think we get into delicate territory when we start telling the business community that we don't see the need, therefore we want to deny something. Um, you know, if, if someone wanted to open up a, a restaurant somewhere, I don't think we would say to them, well, we don't need any more restaurants in Capuchin Parish. Um, but <coughs> seeing as that Ms. Tremie's not here tonight, um, I'll offer another motion to delay or defer for 30 days. If I get a second, fine. Uh, if not, you know, I'll offer that to you. So I'll offer a motion to defer for 30 days until Ms. Tremor would be here to discuss it. There's currently a motion on the floor right yeah. now. Mm -hmm. yes. Well, I'll offer a second motion. If I get a second, we do. If not, then we don't. Mr. Barris, what uh, that building um, that's, that we're seeing the pictures of, what, it, what is that right now? What is that? It's an old mobile home. Uh, oh, this building here? Correct. That's going to be the style of the uh, office slash gym laundry. Well, that's not there. That's just no, sir. Okay, that that's is what, somewhere that else. That is that is basically the style okay. of building that they're wanting to place here. Okay. As the um, as the main office. Yes. Okay. Sir. Thank you, um, Mr. Wainwright. Is is this straddling a large drainage lateral? What is, is that? Is that what I'm seeing there? There is a, a pretty significant natural drainage through there that would, it's gonna require them to, to deal with some right away. And 
probably the teacher pond, things like that. Uh, so yeah. maybe things they can always work through in terms of the, the design, but it does, it's definitely gonna take a look at This is actually the beginning of that drainage lateral. Yeah. So, so is this one of those inline drainage uh, uh, retention ponds, kind of like uh, we've seen in other places that end up uh, the way not they, working the, as well? This, this, the way this picture we're looking at uh, places it, uh, it, it seems that way, but reality is, like I say, this is kind of at, at a break point in, in the watershed, it's kind of at the top. Uh, you could argue it might go either way from there, so we just, we'll have to, you know, we'll, we'll, if you got into a drainage impact study, we'll get it figured out to where the proper right-of-ways would be dedicated, uh, connected, and, you know, we'd have no impact on any of the neighbors if we, if we got that far. Thank you, sir. I yield back, sir. Thank you. Is there any other jurors at this time that would like to speak? Mr. Fawler, we thank you for your time, and please get with staff and let them possibly get you some some maps, of some areas here. Mr. Fawley is still here. Okay. Uh, I, I didn't know, know if he filled out a card. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm speaking for the developer okay. and Mr. Farley, but. Okay, then. But we thank you for your time. Thank you all. I have a blue slip for Mr. Farley. If you would, Mr. Farley, please come up. State your name and address for the record, please. My name's Travis Farley, 3700 Mark and Tail Settlement Road, Benton, Louisiana, 70668. I uh, have owned this property for about 48 years and I've used it agriculturally during that time and what have you. And I'm at the age that I'm wanting to downsize with the properties that I have and not be able to, uh, not to have to do, uh, manage this stuff. Uh, Cause I planned on using this for my retirement and I am retired so I, I'm wanting to sell it to this lady, this young lady. Now. <laughs> One of the things that was brought up at the last meeting was Highway 27 and the row your loop thing and the traffic, which I'll agree it's terrible, but it ain't nothing we can solve. Y'all in the state will have to solve that problem. We can't solve that. That's not our problem, I don't think, in selling this land. Uh, the, I feel like the property is consistent because the little developer that's wanting to develop it, she's wanting to keep it country. She's going to put her a pipe fence around it. She's going to, uh, like you see the building, it's going to be all country style and uh, she's going to have a p pond that's going to help the drainage and what have you for fishing and stuff like that. And she's told me the fishing will be uh, accessible to the public. It's going to be a little set up kind of like Sam Houston but not near as big because she don't have near the money where people can come, put their camping trailers. Y'all worried about uh, these uh, 82 spaces. I'm suspecting that it will be in a place like even Longville Lake and stuff further up in our par uh, in uh, Allen Parish. Their camping trailers that's gonna be left there. They're gonna play their note every day and they, so they'll have a place to come in recreation. She's gonna have a dog park. She's gonna have picnic tables all that kind of good stuff. It's not a fly-by-night operation. It's not a cooperation. This is one young lady at 30, I believe she's 30-something years old. I don't know what, exactly what her age is. That, to me, is taking an initiative. She's small business, which is something I think we ought to all support, that wants to do this so that uh, she'll have something for retirement. She's working on her retirement. <coughs> and uh, I think it's a great thing. The, property all around it is commercial right across the road is an industrial piece of property that has had a sandblasting yard and stuff like that there when during the times that I've owned this property it's no longer there now but it, it was there uh, and talking about the drainage hey everybody's all for getting better drainage I'm for it whether this passes or not I'm all for getting better drainage and, and improving the past uh, property. 
I know y'all ain't never had nobody talk about drainage in Calcasieu Parish before. <laughs> uh, last but not least, I just want to iterate for sure that uh, this is not a cooperation, this is not big business. This is a young lady trying to better herself that wants this property. She has very much impressed me, and I think she would impress y'all also in what she's going to do with this property. I do thank y'all for y'all's time. Thank you, sir. Mr. Paula, we have a few questions by the George. If you would just stay with us for just a minute. Mr. Hunter. Thank you, Mr. President. Again, um, I, I'm hesitant to vote for or against this without Ms. Trimmy here because I certainly value her opinion and that this is her district. But Mr. Farley, I'm one of 15, but would you be okay with a 30-day deferral on this so that maybe you could have a conversation uh, with Ms. Trimmy. Have you had a conversation with Ms. Trimmy about this project? Yes, I have talked with Ms. Trimmy, and she was definitely against it when I first started. Well, I appreciate your honesty number, there. Number one, number one, I woke her up, so that wasn't real good. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyhow, when I, finally, when I finally was able to get to talking to her, she says, well, I'm glad you enlightened me and uh, what have you. She says, uh, I do feel better about it. She didn't ever tell me she was going to vote for it, uh, and she didn't really tell me she was going to be against it. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing she did tell me, which uh, I'll be honest about, she, she said that she probably would have to go with what that, what that other board done. And, and I, I, don't, I, don't want us to, <clears throat> I don't want us to speak for Ms. Trimmy here tonight. Um, but you would be okay if it was deferred for 30 days rather than voted down this evening, obviously. Yes, sir. I so. sure would. Again, I'll put the motion out there, a second motion to defer for 30 days, and if I don't get a second, you know, we'll, we'll order we'll be a substitute motion, Mr. President. Do you have the questions by the jury? It would have to be a substitute motion. Yeah, substitute. Okay. <coughs> thank you, Mr. President. I'm finished. We did not get a second. Mr. Pauley, thank you for your time. Yes, sir. We currently have a motion on the floor by Mr. Landry and a second by Mr. Judd to uphold planning and zoning. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion carry. Number 12, take appropriate action on request by Osprey Lakes Development LLC to amend ordinance number 5712 to remove the following stipulations at 7143 Big Lake Road in Ward 3. Stipulations number two, that a six foot privacy fence be installed on the north property line prior to permit issuance. And stipulation number three, that all parking must be hard surface. Move to uphold planning and zoning. The planning Second. and zoning board met on Tuesday, January the 17th, 2017, and voted unanimously to recommend that the request be granted with stipulations. I have a motion by Mr. Brame and a second by Mr. Hunter. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion carry. Item number 13, take appropriate actions on request by Osprey Lakes Development LLC to <coughs> Amend ordinance number 6025 to remove the following stipulations at 7143 Big Lake Road in Ward 3. Stipulations number two that a six foot fence be installed <coughs> on the north property line prior to permit issuance. Move. And stipulation number three that all parking must be hard surface. Move to uphold planning and zoning. Second. The planning and zoning board met on Tuesday, January the 17th, 2017, and voted unanimously to recommend that the request be granted with stipulations. I have a motion by Mr. Hunter and a second, a motion by Mr. Brame and a second by Mr. Hunter. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion carry. Item number 14, take appropriate actions on a request by Calcasieu Parish Division of Planning and Development to consider rezoning on certain tracts of land from agricultural, mixed residential, manufactured homes, park and light industrial to heavy industrial to maintain the industrial character of the area in the 2700 to 3200 block of Bayou Den Road and 3200 to the 36 block of Bayou Den Pass in Ward 4. I have a motion by Mr. Fornham. No. Second. Nobody here. I didn't know. What is it? We don't have a motion here. I like to Can I get a motion on item? It's in your district, so. <laughs> I'm going to wait on you. <laughs> I was just, uh, 
I apologize. I was still thinking about the one before that. We'll give you time on it. We know. We know we'll give you time on it. I'm on 14 now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Thank I, you, Mr. Foreman. I do make Forn. that motion to, uh, to uphold Check. planning as well. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Foreman. And I have a second by Mr. Landry. I, I think we just made a I do have. I do have a comment. Oh, so do okay. I. <laughs> but go ahead. <laughs> Okay, I have a motion and a second. We have discussion. Mr. Fornham, you have the floor. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. I uh, apologize for my uh, airhead. <laughs> but uh, I do I do want to thank Wes and his staff for their work on this item. This was a uh, kind of a, a hodgepodge of uh, crazy zoning that was just evolved over the years out there. And uh, it was an effort to uh, bring some consistency to an area of heavily industrialized area and uh, help those people with their property values out there and, and they they're, they appreciate this work a lot. So thank you and your staff for all the work thank you did. Thank you, Mr. Fornham. Yeah. I have discussion by Mr. Landry. I was just going to tell Mr. Fornham that I think this that that, that, that was definitely a pro-business motion that, was, that you just made. <laughs> so good job. Thank you. <clears throat> Mr. McMillan. Good. Any other discussion? All right. Any other objections? Motion carry. Item number 15, consideration of adopting an ordinance, rescinding ordinance number 6819 due to prospective bidders discussed to withdraw from purchase. I have a motion by Mr. Landry. Second. And a second by Mr. Latour. Any discussion? Any objection? Hearing none. Motion carry. Item number 16, consideration of adopting a resolution authorizing the purchase of Don't property move. located Second. at 8047 Nelson Road, Lake Charles, through finding, through funding received from the FEMA Hazardous Mitigation Grant Program. I have a motion by Mr. Scott and a second by Mr. McMillan. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion carry. Item number 17, Consideration of adopting a resolution approving an employment contract Second. for forensic pathology service between the police jury, <coughs> the coroner's office, and Tarek Welke, MD. Thank you, Mr. Beam. I have a motion by Mr. Brame and a second by Mr. Hunter. Any discussion? Any objection? Item number 17 passes. Item 18. So move. Move on Consideration 18. adopting a resolution approving a renewal of a cooperative endeavor agreement between the police jury and the coroner, which outlines the duties and responsibilities of the coroners and the police jury in the operations of the Kakashu Parish Coroner's Office and forensic facility. I have a motion by Mr. Guillory and a second by Mr. Andropond. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion carry. Item number 19, to consideration to adopting a renewal property automobile workers' compensation crime liability insurance policy effective February the 1st, 2017 through January 31st, 2018. I have a motion by Mr. Brain and a second by Mr. Hunter. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion carried. Second. I have a motion by Mr. Landry to adjourn and a second <coughs> by Mr. <coughs> Collins. We are now adjourned.